Hey everybody, it's Kat and today I'm going to show you how to make meltingly tender beef short ribs that are braised in red wine. So beef short ribs are not a weeknight meal. They take a long time to cook because they're full of connective tissue and fat, which is what makes them so delicious. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make this very rich dish through braising. And so braising is a very specific cooking technique. It's not roasting, which is dry heat. It's not simmering or poaching where the meat would be covered in liquid. Instead, the liquid that we're going to be cooking these short ribs in is gonna come about halfway up. And that means that the top of the meat is going to caramelize while it still retains some really beautiful tenderness. And I'm first gonna get started with my mise en place. I'm going to chop up four carrots, two celery ribs, five shallots. I'm gonna chop in half one garlic bulb, and then I'm gonna make a bouquet garni. And all that means is that I'm going to tie together some sage, rosemary, and thyme, and a couple of bay leaves. So this dish does require a little bit of patience. You wanna brown these short ribs on all sides, and it takes a good you know, few minutes per side to get to what you're looking for, which is this beautiful kind of bronzed look on each side of the, of the meat. And you also want to make sure that you are cooking in batches and not crowding the pan, because if you crowd the pan, it's going to steam rather than sear. Now that I've browned off all of my short ribs and rendered all of that amazing fat, I'm going to go ahead and add my shallots to the pot and get them nice and soft and caramelized. And then in will go the carrots and the celery. So I'm gonna add in a couple of tablespoons of tomato paste and I'm going to allow the tomato to caramelize along with these veggies. It's going to add tremendous depth of flavor and a little bit of that tomato sweetness. So I'm gonna deglaze with a lot of red wine. You want to use a dry wine, not a sweet wine, with this application. And now I'm just going to let this kind of simmer and cook down a little bit. Then I'm going to add in my bouquet garni, my garlic, a little bit of beef stock, and then I'm putting my short ribs back in the pot. Ta-da! So these short ribs have been in the oven for about two hours. I started with the lid on and then took the lid off to kind of let some of the, the liquid evaporate. So I'm taking these short ribs out, just arranging them on my platter. I've cooked off some very simple noodles and just tossed them with butter, salt, and pepper so they can soak up all that wonderful sauce. And all I did was take the pot over to the stove and simmer the remaining liquid down. I squeezed in some of the garlic and I just skimmed off the fat. And this is the result. It is velvety and gorgeous. I cannot wait to dig in. Perfect for a midwinter family meal. All right, I've got to get in here. If you're looking for the recipe, you're going to find everything right here on this site. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'm going to see you next time.